Hello, everyone. Good evening. Can we have some videos turned on quickly? Welcome, everybody. Hello, Anmol. Nice to see you. Hello, ma'am. Good evening. Uh, for some reason, you're not audible. Hello. I hope I am audible. Okay. Good evening, all. Welcome to the first English class. Of uh, asset entrance exam, actions entrance exam. We are going to cover the English syllabus here. Are there more students coming in? Should we wait for some more minutes? I would love to see you all. Please, everyone, turn your cameras on. It should be a nice interactive session, right? Also, please keep a notebook and a pen or pencil handy. We are going to do a lot of uh, written things. And it is not just going to be a listening session. You have to take notes and you have to memorize. Uh, you have to practice and come back the next day with uh, those things prepared. So please, I'm giving you a few minutes. Go grab a notebook or you know, open your screen if you want to type them out. It's better if you're taking running notes. I'll tell you what to write, when to write, how to write. Nothing very complicated. Okay. We'll just start in a couple of minutes. Uh, hoping you are all settling in. Uh, if you could turn the videos on, it would be really nice to see you. And you can introduce yourself until then. Anmol, uh, can I hear you now? Yes, ma'am. Am I audible? Uh, no, you're not audible. <laughs> Okay, uh, just tell me uh, what are you all doing currently besides this course? I would like to know a little bit about uh, the students whom I'm teaching. And I would like to give my introduction as well. As you can see, my name is Atika Sureka. I've completed my master's in English. Okay, and uh, I have been teaching not this particular course, but others and uh, private tuitions and other spoken English courses for last seven to eight years of my life. Okay, and teaching is a definitely a passion for me and uh, it really motivates me, makes me feel happy. So I hope I'll be able to guide you enough and you can score the marks which is devoted to this particular portion. Okay. Ma'am, am I audible now? Uh, no, one more. you're still not audible. Okay, I think I'll start the class now. Uh, just check whether you have allowed your microphone to be used, you know, uh, access or change your microphone. Okay, so I'll start, uh, I'll record the session now and then I'll give you some important details. I'll share my screen and uh, we'll start the class, okay? Without any further delay. Okay, so why am I not able to hear Anmol? Can anybody else speak for that matter? It could be my microphone. Give me a minute. Am I audible again? Just a quick check. Just come aside. Okay, thank you. All right, we'll start now. Okay. Uh, I want you all to please participate in the class, answer, and uh, if you do not understand anything, please let me know. Okay. All right. Uh, welcome all once again. Good evening. My name is Atika Sureka and I'm starting the session now. This is the first class that we're taking of English. And as you shall be aware by now that uh, we have 15 marks, which is devoted to this particular part. For English, we have 15 marks uh, allocated and uh, it is divided into certain portions. We have around um, 11 questions, maybe. Uh, no, no, no. Yes, we have 11 questions as I was looking in the question paper. And there are one mark questions, there are two mark questions and there are three mark questions also. Okay. 
So if you have gone through the syllabus, there are a variety of things. And for English, uh, the syllabus, you know, it may be marked. So there is a vocabulary part. But the vocabulary is endless. So we do not know where to start and how to start and, you know, where to end. So it's never going to be enough. The preparation is never going to feel like you've done everything or you've covered everything. But we are going to do the maximum things that we can do. Okay. So um, as I analyzed and found, uh, there were eight one mark questions, uh, two two mark questions that make it, makes it four. And we have one three mark question. Okay. So that is 15 marks in total. That's a division of marks that I came across. Okay. So usually it's, it's all MCQ pattern and you just ha you have four options and you have to choose what the best one, the correct one. We have synonyms, we have meanings, antonyms, idioms, uh, we have clove passages, sentence constructions uh, and a lot more things. OK, so we will not confuse you in the first day itself. And what I like to do is I do not like to do one particular topic in at a stretch in one particular day. OK, that bores the students and, you know, you will not be wa wanting to learn uh, just vocabulary for or say 60 to 100 vocabulary in one particular day. So what we are going to do is uh, we are going to meet quite frequently during uh, this one month, one month time in the e evening, 530 to 630. So uh, we are going to do several topics in one particular day, one particular time, um, not one particular time means one after another. OK, and uh, we are going to do a mix match thing. So we will do vocabulary. We'll do a passage. Uh, we'll do some idioms, we'll do synonyms and antonyms, uh, we'll do sentence constructions also, okay? That way you will not be bored, you will be engaged in the class and um, you will learn uh, what are the areas where you need to focus, okay? And you can tell me, you can also identify your strengths, what you are to do, uh, and the rest, uh, which is okay for you, which is manageable for you, okay? So these are the things that I had to say in the beginning of the class. Now I'm going to share the screen. And we'll start. Okay, so uh, primarily I am, uh, you know, following this particular book, which is uh, Objective General English by S. P. Bakshi. Okay, uh, but of course this is not the only book that I'm following. There are three more books that I'm going to compile together. And um, but this is a good book. You can do a lot of practice sessions from here. If you, uh, you can. Uh, there's a uh, there's an online PDF available which you can download. If you can get hand the book handy. Uh, it's not really required, but if you think you need it, you can do that. As I am going to upload uh, the PDFs or, you know, the regular work that we are going to do, I'm going to upload it in the WhatsApp group. You can take it up from there. Uh, you will do the practicing, you will do the writings and you'll memorize with me. OK, so um, th the best part of the class is going to be that you will be taking down notes and you will next day when we're meeting. So if you are having a class tomorrow, 530 p.m., I want you to come prepared with what we have done here today. OK, no excuses. If you really want to crack your exams and you really are sincere about this course, so you want you have to do this with me. OK, 15 marks is not a very small, uh, you know, amount. So we say that boon se sagar hai ya hai. So that is the part of it. So we're not going to leave out any particular mark here. Uh, of course, full marks score karne ka aim hamesha sabka hi rahega, but uh, we are going to work together. OK, so you will have to work with me. You'll have to, uh, you know, um, work together, you have to study and we'll move ahead. Okay, so let's get started. I'm sh uh, sharing the screen now and we'll start. Please keep your notebooks uh, handy. Okay. All right. Give me a minute to share the screen quickly. Thank you. We'll start with this then first. OK, we'll start with the clause test first. Uh, does anybody know what this means, actually? Any idea? Raise your hand, uh, use your microphone, type in the chat box, whichever is convenient for you, no problem at all. Okay, I will just quickly introduce you to this particular uh, area. This is clause test. Okay, here basically you will be you shall be given a passage. Okay, and there are fill in the blanks to it. So which is the most appropriate word that you need to fit there? Now you, this word need not be guessed. Okay, you have a list of words uh, given below. From there you have to choose the most appropriate word which fits into the passage and adds the meaning of the passage and the sentences. Okay. So there is a passage here. There are several options which are given below. So I want you to first have, I'm going to read it out for you and you will be telling me what is the correct option to it. Okay. 
so this is just the first beginning that we are doing or the first topic itself this is a part of your syllabus the direct syllabus okay so we are going to do a lot of practice sessions we are going to do some learning part material part also but we'll begin with this first okay okay uh, as i read you will i will also give you the options okay or first i'm going to give you a blank reading of the passage and then we'll look at the uh, the options which are given below and then you will tell me i want you all to guess and participate and tell me which is the most uh, appropriate word that can be fitted into that uh, particular sentence or the blank which is there okay and we will also see why and how that word is used there uh, we will use the elimination method ki ye word ho hi nahi sakta kyu nahi ho sakta and which suits best sometimes you will be confused ki you know we can use this and this both the words are uh, sounding fine they're sounding good we can actually use both the words here so why are we using this particular word and not this so we are going to give you an explanation of that particular part also okay i hope the screen is visible to all let me zoom in a little bit is this better it's a little topsy turvy i suppose but i think it will work okay so the first uh, statement uh, first paragraph comes like this which is uh, the dash to marriage in urban india is turning turtle now uh, what is turning turtle that is a question the first question that i want to pose here what is turning turtle write it down in your notebooks everybody turning turtle give a dash and uh, tell me the meaning if you can next the sentence is the financial imperatives of modern urban living demand that both dash should have a career the crunch comes when the career woman demands an entity distinct from a husband and a measure of financial independence the woman's dash is that the man as a breadwinner should be blank the household experience expenses while what she earns is a jam over the bread and butter again another phrase which i want you to note down jam over the bread and butter note it down look up the meaning try we'll, we are going to discuss the answers don't worry but i want you to try and she gets to choose the brand of jam okay Mrinali Mrinalini Singh a manager with a high dash company says my husband earns enough to keep the home dash burning when i take on the responsibility of home as well as office it is just it is not just to sink in all the money i earn into the home kitty i definitely want a dash in where my money goes as a high profile executive i need to keep up a certain dash personally as well as of my husband and children i also need to dash the image of my home because of the people who visit me where dash would the money for all this come from okay so this is the passage a rough reading of the passage and of course it is the meaning isn't very clear to us right uh, but we know there is a woman uh, there is uh, some conversation about finance right so we are going to analyze uh, this particular paragraph now using the examples only when the uh, not the examples actually the options which are given below so for there are 10 blanks as you can see there are numbers the numbers are mentioned so there are 10 blanks and for the 10 blanks we have three options each so a b or c which is the correct or the most appropriate word that we will use that is what we will see now okay so the first uh, you know we'll have to zoom out okay the first sentence was the dash to marriage in urban india is turning turtle so what is the meaning of turning turtle that should be clear first otherwise we will not understand the meaning turning turtle means turning upside down okay it's becoming hey wire ulta ho ja raha hai sab kuch okay so please write it down across uh, you know if you have written it down in your notebook you should write it down it means to turn upside down okay sab ulta ho ja raha hai like if a turtle is on its back will it be able to move it wouldn't right therefore turning turtle inability to move uh, kuch kar nahi pana turning upside down okay that is the meaning of the first uh, phrase two words so it's a phrase not a word not a sentence okay two words phrase so what is the correct uh, example uh, kya word aayega the, the options are demands economics and attitude think everybody give me the correct answer uh, in the chat box the demands to marriage in urban india is turning turtle the economics to marriage in urban india is turning turtle or the attitude to marriage in urban india is turning turtle i told you the meaning of turning turtle quick responses with a b c you have the options c attitude okay others all right take your guesses okay right i think i'll go with c which uh, c which is the correct answer the attitude to marriage in urban india is turning turtle it's a perception okay not the demands 
okay somebody mentioned demand that is on the correct answer so good job everybody those of you who mentioned uh, the c exam uh, c option that is absolutely correct good job let's move towards the second sentence now the financial imperatives of modern urban living uh, demand that both dash should have a career so both partners should have a uh, uh, should have a career both pairs should have a career or both uh, couples should have a career confusing all three are quite similar so let's see who gives the correct answer okay partners a okay a all right yes that's again correct good job so you do not really have to type out the word you can simply mention abc that will make the process faster okay yes a is the correct answer both partners should have a career okay next the crunch comes when the career woman demands an entity distinct from a husband and a measure of financial independence third sentence we come the woman's dash is that the man as a breadwinner should be blank the household expenses while that what she earns is the jam over the bread okay we have, we can do the reading later now there are two options or and there are two blanks in one particular sentence so we have to match both of them okay so uh, the options are below i think you can see them let me just scroll a bit yes yes tell me the options are uh, the woman's example idea or stance is that the man as a breadwinner should be shouldering bearing or sharing so you'll have to give me two options side by side is it the woman's stance idea or example okay c and b okay c and b i think i'm getting all c answers okay why do you think it stands as i said it is going to be confusing also right we do, wouldn't really know ki absolutely kaun sa sahi ho sakta hai you can be correct and you can be wrong also hai you na know? uh, b and c palkesh says okay so basically actually uh, the more appropriate term here would be idea the woman's idea woman as a sochti hai so it is the woman's uh, idea 3b that which uh, is the word so the woman's idea is that the man as a breadwinner should be bearing right should be bearing the household expenses should be sharing no shouldering no should be bearing the household expenses okay two examples do we have any confusions here you may be wrong you may be right okay but uh, there will be a fixed set of answers which which shall be provided when uh, the answers are being checked so in the grammar mein you know um, most appropriate logo ke liye it varies from one person to another it happens that is okay okay uh, let's move ahead then uh, okay the fifth uh, sentence that we have mrinalini um, mrinalini singh a manager with a high fifth question is a fifth blank is power profile or income high dash company profile okay that's correct yes very good everybody yes high profile company says my husband earns enough to keep the home dash burning what burning cooking burning fires burning or another one was a uh, stove burning cooking burning fire burning or stove burning okay all right c fires stove b okay so basically see you know that it is not cooking we can the cooking cannot be burning so good job i don't see any is, uh, any answers of a which is absolutely correct and again fires and stove um there is a confusion about it right because both are absolutely uh, fine correct so here what are we going to choose going, okay fires is that really a term to keep the fire burning hona chahiye na is it going to be fires burning so grammatical error that could be a printing error also or it could have been deliberately mentioned there so basically uh, you know you can keep both you can mention any either of them but again as you would say you know one of them is going to be the correct option if we look at it in the idiom perspective it is fire to keep the fire burning we do not say to keep the stove burning stove hamesha jalta nahi rahega right but we keep the fire should be burning if the fire is lit the fire should be burning so the correct example would the answer would be c fire here it is there's a typing error maybe not fires fire burn okay next uh, when i take on the responsibility of home as well as office it is not just to sink uh, all the sink in all the money i earn into the home kitty i definitely want a blank in where my money goes i definitely want a say answer or statement easy
the answer. Okay. Others? I think Anmol, I'll side with you. A, A. I definitely want a same. I want to have my uh, viewpoint. I want to know where my money is going. Okay. I want to have a say. Not an answer. Or I want to, uh, you know, I want an answer. Ki, uh, if I'm asking a question, then answer will be So answer is upon questions. Statement. We don't really give a statement. Statement is again, you uh, bol de Right? So I want to say. I want to um, have my opinion. Main, I want to contribute to that discussion. Ki, uh, we should uh, spend this money, some portion in cooking, some in stocks, some in uh, property, etc. etc. Okay? I want to have a say. S-A-Y. Okay? Um, okay. Next, the eighth, uh, I definitely want to have a say in where my money goes. As a high profile executive, I need to keep up a certain dash. I need to keep up a reputation, image or face. Again, very similar words, right? Okay. B, correct. Yes, I want to keep up an image. I'm looking image, uh, you know, we want to maintain an image that we have, right? Uh, correct. So let's move ahead. Next, I also need to dash. Uh, now that is a phrasal verb that we're coming across. I need to keep up the image of my home, keep on the image of my home or keep for the image of my home. That's correct. Keep up. Yes, keep up. Maintaining basically. Okay. Good. Keep up. Right. And the last thing, um, because the people who visit me, because the people who visit me, where, uh, Okay, where from, where else, where for would the bunny for all this come from? There's a question mark. Now pay attention, key the sentence, uh, you know, the paragraph is ending with a question mark. So choose the correct answer, uh, answer carefully. Where else would all the money, would all would the money for all this come from? Correct, where else? Take okay. care. Good job, everybody. I think you have all done a great uh, job, participated well and have uh, answered uh, judiciously as well. So, you know, the ones who have participated, you understood ki, you know, aapne sare sahi diye, ek do galat hua. So, you can actually put, uh, score and mark yourself also. Hai na? So, good job. Uh, we are going to do a lot of passages, uh, clove passages uh, in our uh, future classes also. But I think you get the idea of what a clove passage looks like and uh, how are you supposed to answer it. Sometimes some options are going to be really, really confusing. And like we had here, uh, you know, um, reputation, image and face. Quite similar. Okay. Uh, we are going to have phrases also, phrasal verb. We are going to have prepositions and uh, several uh, verbs. Kuch bhi ka example ho sakta hai. Blank kahi par bhi dala dala sakta hai. So you're going to have a passage, but do not worry. It's not about, sometimes, you know, uh, there are words given in bracket. Aapko uska ek version likna rehta. That is a different thing. Okay. That's a verb thing. That's different. Here you will be given options. Now, A, B, C, ke jagai D, B ho sakta hai. It can be just A and B also. So the options may vary, but you will definitely have options. Okay. Two minimum, four maximum, there can be more also. Clear so far, everybody? That's the first passage, clove passage. Done. Okay. Next, I hope you have noted down uh, two phrasal things that we did here, which is turning the turtle and jam over the bread. And uh, oh, I did not mention the meaning of the second one, right? Did anybody find that out? What is the meaning of uh, man as uh, breadwinner? We know basically, uh, bread, what is the meaning of breadwinner? Who is a breadwinner? The one who is earning, earning member. Correct. Yes. Jo kamara hai, jo basically khane ke liye wo bread kharid ke leke aane like hai. Right? The earner. Right? So the bread winner, bread earner, both we can mention. Mention and um, we can use that. Next, we the another, another statement was um, the jam over the bread and butter. What does that mean? She, is, she earns, while what she earns is a jam over the bread and butter. Basically, again, it is, uh, you know, synonymous with the breadwinner thing. It is also the source of livelihood. But the woman says, if I am the one who's earning, I am going to decide, uh, you know, which brands jam I'm going to put on that or where the money would go or uh, how much to spend here and how much to spend there. Okay. All right. Okay. So this is uh, about the clove passage for now. I had another screen ready, but I am unable to share this for some reason. Let me just try once again. Let's, I will just do it. Uh, all right. 
uh, it's not really happening from here. I'll see this later. Okay, nonetheless, we'll start. Okay, so uh, what is the meaning of disheveled appearance? I'll type out the word in the chat box and you will have to search, uh, you'll have to guess actually. Yes, that's the term. D-I-S-H-E-V-E-L-E-D, disheveled appearance. And the options are, is it, uh, does it mean untidy? Does it mean fierce? Is it, does it mean foolish, peculiar, or unhappy? Uh, am I getting some responses? Untidy, very good. Yes, that's correct. Okay. Disabled, again, I want you to, uh, disabled, I want you to write down this term in your notebook and uh, write untidy across it. So it is a synonym, right? Disabled, another word for it is untidy, which is the synonym of it. Okay. Next, we have baffling problem. What do you mean by a baffling problem? What do you mean by a baffling problem? Confusing, okay. So let me give you the options and then you can choose the best one from there, okay. That is the correct answer, mother. Um, okay, the options here in this particular, so you will be given options, right? You do not really have to learn the meanings uh, because uh, you will have options. But if you're not learning, then how will you choose the correct option? That is also the thing. So sometimes uh, we have to have several synonyms in mind because confusing is the correct word but then there's another word for it uh, in the options given so here we have difficult simple puzzling long and new so which is the correct one that you will choose from here from the options which i read out okay c difficult okay some of you are saying difficult some of you are saying puzzling so uh, did you see the the word is in the continuous tense ing baffling that is also another hint to put it into puzzling. Okay, good and more. Puzzling. Puzzling is, it also means confusing, right? Difficult is a different word. So when we're doing uh, vocabulary words, it is very important to check the degree of the word. So difficult means tough, difficult. Puzzling ka matlab difficult nahi hota hai. I mean, it is difficult. It is confusing more. Puzzling. Okay. So difficult is not the correct answer. Puzzling is the correct answer. Okay. Next, we have a lenient parent. This should be easy for you. Lenient parent. So the options are uh, tall, not strict, wise, foolish, and severe. Not strict. Correct. And uh, somebody who has lenient parents means unke parents strict nahi hai. Chill hai basically. Right? Okay. I hope you are all writing down uh, the words that I am reading out here. Both important thing, you know, you actually, I'm sure you do not know all the words, and now so it's important you learn and uh, revise, revise karna bahut zaruri hai. Okay, so please keep noting things down. Now, what is the meaning of repulsive person personality? Repulsive personality. The options are disgusting, attractive, normal, confused, and conceited. Repulsive, disgusted, okay. Okay, uh, B, that is attractive, A, disgusting, okay. Having repulsive attitude means disgusting attitude, okay. So disgusting is the correct answer. Please note it down. Now, next word is audacious attempt. Audacious, it comes from the word. Anybody you can tell me audacious, which is the root word. And then you can easily guess the meaning also from the options, which are uh, useless, bold, foolish, crazy, or necessary. A, B, don't know. Choose one. Audacious attempt. It comes from the word audacity. No, it's not crazy. Audacity. You have the audacity to do this means. What does that mean? Audacity, audacious. Okay. So what would it mean? Useless, bold, uh, um, foolish, crazy or necessary. Bold. Very good. Yes. Okay. 
you have the audacity to do this so tumhare andar itni shamta is not shamta i should say itni zurrat hai himmat hai like that so bold okay that's a correct word okay parry a blow p a w r y parry a blow what does that mean now this is the phrase right so parry a blow the options are ward off be fear expect invite or ignore parry a blow you know what is a blow right kisi ne aapko mara mukka mara ya somebody is coming to fight yes i will repeat it for you parry a blow uh, the options are ward off w a r d ward off fear expect invite ignore ignore okay you think that's correct invite no parry a blow means to tackle a blow basically so if i am going to uh, you know hit a blow if i'm going to uh, if i'm fighting with someone i'm having having a, a battle or i'm fighting it means to ward off basically usko tackle karna to wo mujhe maare to main bhi use maar rahi hu aur you know main defend kar rahi hu apne aap ko not really maarna i may be uh, defend karna so i'm removing his or her hand from when it comes to attack me ठीक है ए वर्ड ऑफ वर्ड ऑफ मीन्स हटाना ठीक है डिफेंडिंग योर सेल्फ अगेन लिख लो पी ए डबल आर वाई पैरी अ ब्लो विच मीन्स वर्ड ऑफ क्लियर एवरीबडी ओके नेक्स्ट अगेन दिस इज एन इजी वन आई एम होपिंग यू विल सेल द करेक्ट आंसर अ प्रेवलेंट डिजीज अ डिजीज विच इज प्रेवलेंट सो उसका मतलब क्या होगा द ऑप्शन आर डेंजरस कैचिंग चाइल्डहुड फेटल और वाइड स्प्रेड widespread that's correct good job everybody yes correctly guessed prevalent means um, widespread okay next word we have okay the correct spelling right ominous report so we know we have come i'm sure you have come across this word ominous omnius what does this mean the options are uh, uh, ominous report ominous and omnius as these are different words here it is o m i n u o s ominous okay so is it a dangerous disease catching disease child uh, no 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 sorry i'm reading out the wrong options omnis report is uh, loud threatening untrue serious or unpleasant omnis disease means threatening okay the spelling is a little wrong but i i got your sense ashi yes that's correct actually threatening okay no it's not d it is threatening ominous means something deadly jo dara deta hai hame you know uh, threatening okay which is some, something which is bad ominous means uh, something bad also ki kuch bura hone wala hai i have this ominous feeling so ominous bad threatening uh, scaring frightful there can be several words that you can associate with the same thing okay next this should again be easy and i'm hoping you will get it correct an incredible story so basically the word that you have to substitute here is incredible and the options are true interesting well known unbelievable and unknown okay unbelievable incredible yes that's correct actually anshuman correct good job yes and mol also unbelievable incredible means mujhe vishwas hi nahi ho raha so i cannot believe it so it is unbelievable clear okay and that is what we have uh, you know i'll do one more word with you we'll, we'll just do 10 uh, new words a day okay which is uh, the last one which i end today is ophthalmologist who is an ophthalmologist an eye doctor skin doctor foot doctor heart doctor or cancer cancer specialist eye doctor good job right ophthalmologist is an eye doctor who is a uh, no not cancer okay not cancer anjali is correct ophthalmologist eye doctor dermatologist kaun hota hai skin very good uh, cardiologist kaun hota hai heart very good yes okay so yes uh, you are aware all right so we'll do just 10 words for today clear so far everybody i hope you have noted down all 10 if not and if you are missing out something abhi puch lo i'll tell you i will upload jo maine prepare kiya tha na pdf i'm going to upload that in the group so that will really help you a lot but for the correct answers at least you have to keep uh, you know you have to be present here and you have to um, 
write down them write them down is aapka written practice bhi ho jayega and you will remember them so always remember lik lik ke yaad karna uh, practice karna it helps you to remember you re retain better okay so keep writing and learning and trust me tomorrow i will not begin the class unless we have discussed these words and whatever we have learned in class of course i'm not going to go back to discussing the cloak passage but the meanings phrases synonyms idioms these these are things which we need regular revision hai na so today i have discussed 10 vocabulary words with you i'm going to ask these words to you tomorrow okay if you want to prepare better always make one sentence each with the words that you have learned jo bhi fresh words aap ek din learn karte ho make a sentence with it and try and use it in your uh, daily uh, you know conversations it will help you re you can re remember them better here everybody give me a thumbs up sign if you followed this much and then we'll move towards the next section okay thank you so much let's move ahead okay so next we are going to talk about um, okay i think i had synonyms in mind okay so we'll do synonyms next synonyms and antonyms or i think i should go with uh, idioms we'll go with idioms okay so anybody who knows the meaning of black sheep black sheep black sheep okay i found apparently i got to share this but uh, i have done it in the wrong time right because you will see the answers and you will not be guessing anymore so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to keep it upside we should have uh, had been able to do this uh, when we were doing the other portion nonetheless so uh, that's okay let me stop sharing and we'll do it the other way down okay so any guesses uh, you could have seen it by now black sheep is uh, a person who is the odd one in the family so do you think the odd one is being the precious one the most uh, liked child in the family or does it have a positive connotation or a negative connotation black sheep chalo let's guess quickly negative correct ha huh? so bura the person is the odd one in the family matlab uh, he or she is not doing things which are correct appropriate yeah you know linked with what others have been doing in the family theek okay? hai so can you all try and give me a sentence with um, not really jinx tanjali but theek hai bol sakte hai not really though theek hai jo you know baaki sab acche raste pe chal rahe hai that person is going in the wrong path for the wrong path theek hai sabne business join kiya usko job karni hai like that so uh, being the odd one alag hi hai apni duniya mein jo baaki log karte hai usme uske sath nahi hai okay so odd one family now don't start relating it to yourself i'm sure you're not the one uh so just give me a uh, sentence maybe you'll have to again write these things down so just because i'm going to share the pdf does not mean aap nahi likhenge please write it down black sheep dash odd one in the family bracket we can write negative uh, connotation theek hai odd one matlab precious ya aankho ka tara and uh, loved one adorable one nahi hai it has negative connotations to the phrase it's an idiom theek hai clear everybody Can I have at least one sentence uh, from the idiom, like a uh, black sheep? Okay, let's move towards the second one, which is uh, a hard nut to crack. What do you mean by a hard nut to crack? This should be easy. Just try and uh, you know literally break down the words and think about it. A hard nut to crack. Difficult. Very good. Something difficult. But good job. Correct. ठीक है Hard not to crack मतलब एक ऐसा काम विच यस चैलेंजिंग इज ऑल्सो द करेक्ट सिन दैट यू कैन यूज योर ठीक है समथिंग विच यू एनी वर्क एनी पर्टिकुलर थिंग कोर्स समथिंग इन लाइफ विच यू फाइव डिफिकल्ट टू डू ओके सो यू नो दैट इज अ थिंग सो करेंटली वुड से दैट यू नो क्लियरिंग द एसिड एग्जाम इज अ हार्ड नॉट टू क्रैक सो इट्स डिफिकल्ट वैसे ओके इट इज डिफिकल्ट चैलेंजिंग इट रिक्वायर्स अ लॉट ऑफ लेबर लॉट ऑफ हार्ड वर्क एक्सेट्रा सो दैट इज um a hard or a difficult nut to crack okay now questions can also be asked in such a way a hard nut to crack can we also say a difficult nut to crack ek idiom may the word hard has been used so can you really just uh, you know uh, switch it with uh, difficult just like we did in the fire and the stove thing right it's uh, it was quite synonymous okay 
So what we are going to do is we are going to memorize the idiom as it is. So confuse करने के लिए they can give you is it a hard walnut to crack? Okay, so it's a hard nut to crack, not a walnut or a cashew or other dry fruit कुछ भी हो सकता है. Okay, so learn it accordingly. वो भी एक question the correct uh, idiom का uh, word choose करने आपको बोला जा सकता है. Next, uh, what do you mean by kith and kin? Kith and kin, k i t h and k i n. Again, the spelling don't worry about that. PDF upload होगा, so you will be able to see there. Kith and kin. Very good, Madam. Yes, friends and relatives. So let's have a sentence also. Maybe somebody, you know, you can just unmute and say also. इतना शर्माने की कोई बात नहीं है. You can turn the videos on. I would love to see your faces. Uh, but in next class, मैं भी video off करके पढ़ाऊँगी. Okay, and then you will think, कौन बोल रहा है, कैसे बोल रहा है, कुछ पता नहीं है. So uh, yes, videos on कर सकते हैं. You can unmute and speak whenever you feel like. I just don't want uh, several people to be talking together. वरना क्या होता है? कुछ आएगा, समझ नहीं आएगा. Okay. So uh, yes, friends, kitten uh, kinis, friends and relatives. So basically, whenever there is a hard time or a difficult time in your life, you who whom can you rely upon? Whom can you depend on? Whom can you um, you know you look to uh, look forward to or the support? That is kitten kin, friends and relatives. Or any one particular view, or something. Okay. Next, clear. I hope you're noting things down as I say them. Okay. To be uh, to blow one's own trumpet. What does that mean? We are dealing with idioms right now. Okay. I D I O M S idioms. Muhavre. To blow one's own trumpet. It's going to be just break down. Uh, it might just become easier for you to guess. <laughs> To blow one's own trumpet, I'll tell you the Hindi version. Okay, अपनी मुँह मिया मिट्टू. अब बताओ. Show off. Okay. Not exactly, but ठीक है. It's uh, close by. Self obsessed. Okay. Yes. Again, close by. Very good. Or basically, it means अपनी ही तारीफ करते जाना. To blow one's own, अपनी. Own trumpet means self praise. मैं अपनी ही तारीफ किए जा रही हूँ कि मैं कितनी खूबसूरत हूँ मैं कितनी अच्छी हूँ मैं सबके हेल्प कर रही हूँ मैं ऐसे करती हूँ मैं वैसे करती हूँ आई एम डूंग ऑल गुड थिंग सो आई एम जस्ट बोस्टिंग अबाउट माई सेल्फ बी ओ ए एस टी आई एन जी सेल्फ बोस्टिंग दैट इज ऑल्सो अनदर फ्रेज दैट यू कैन यूज फॉर सेल्फ फ्रेज ठीक है टू ब्लो वंस ओन ट्रम्पेट अपनी ही तारीफ करना वॉट यू वॉट यू टू रिपीट एंजली इन दैट थिंग To blow one's own trumpet, boast, b o a s t, self boasting. Show off again. Show off is the correct term. Uh, there was another one, right? Um, sorry, I forgot that. Self obsessed. So these are all actually linked to it. Self boasting, self uh, praise, self obsessed. ठीक है? But यहाँ पर self तारीफ हो रही है. You're praising yourself. होते ना कुछ लोग जो बैठ के अपनी अपनी तारीफ किए जाते हैं नॉट अदर्स नॉट प्रेजिंग एनी बडी एल्स बट डेम सेल्स आई हैव आई डिड दिस आई हैव ऑन दिस मच आई हैव अ बंगलो योर एंड ऑल दैट ब्लैक 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 ओके अ बेड ऑफ रोजेस बेड ऑफ रोजेस सुन के क्या व्हिच इज दैट वन वर्ड दैट स्ट्राइक्स इन योर माइंड फर्स्ट बेड ऑफ रोजेस डिफिकल्टी लग्जूरियस कंफर्ट क्या आ रहा है दिमाग में सुन के अ बेड ऑफ रोजेस कंफर्टेबल इजी करेक्ट लग्जूरियस राइट रॉन्ग स्पेलिंग बट आई थिंक यू दैट इज अ टाइपिंग एरर आई हैव दिस बैड हैबिट यू नो आई नो कि जल्दी जल्दी में लिखने से हो जाता है बट आई स्टिल हैव टू से कि गलत है इट्स ओके डोंट डू डू द करेक्शंस आई एम श्योर यू नो इट सो यस लग्जूरियस बेड ऑफ रोजेस आरामदायक बट वी आर नॉट टॉकिंग अबाउट लिटरल बेड ऑफ रोजेस हियर इसका मतलब है कि यू नो अ कंफर्टेबल लाइफ So prince and princesses, they have a bed of roses. Their life is like a bed of roses. They do not really have to do anything, right? सब कुछ उनको किया कराया मिल जाता है. They do not really have to work towards uh, earning या मेहनत नहीं करनी है, hard work नहीं करना है. There is no peer pressure, uh, family pressure, ऐसा कुछ नहीं है. So a bed of roses. We have people, we have friends in our life uh, जिनको देखे मिलते हैं यार उसकी तो life sorted है. So bed of roses. Clear everybody? I hope you are noting them down. Bed of roses is a com comfortable life with all luxuries. ठीक है? Comfortable life. सब कुछ उनको बना बनाया मिल गया basically. Those people. ठीक है? Next we have to beat black and blue. Again easy one. Try and guess. Black to beat black and blue. Yes. 
Yes, yes. How many of you have received beating? Yes, beating someone badly. Itna beating ki, uh, you know, kaale neele, uh, neel jam jata na sharif mein, the blood clots, like that, wo wali beating, okay? To beat someone, yes, brutally beating someone. So, yes. Anybody who has experienced that by any chance? I don't think so. Okay. Um, okay, so that is the meaning. I hope you got it. To beat black and blue, to beat very badly, very terribly, very brutally, uh, you know, Janwar Jaisa basically. Okay. And uh, okay. That is that. Now uh, we can talk about a cold reception. What is a cold reception? What is the meaning of reception first? R E C E P T I O N. Deception, we say we also come across another word which is recipient. Welcoming, okay. But reception, uh, um, okay, not really welcoming, but yes, very close. No emotions. No, that's wrong. Recipient means a receiver. There's a sender, there is a receiver, right? So the receiver is called the recipient, R-E-C-I-P-I-E-N-T. Okay. Uh, reception, again, uh, yes, uh, you know, um, a cold reception is unwelcomed attitude, basically. Okay. So we don't have something called a hot welcome or something, but we have a cold reception. Just remember, ko lagta hai ki, uh, you haven't been well received by your guests, or uh, you know, uh, right now I could say I have, I think the class is uh, giving me a cold reception, you're not receiving me well because uh, you have not turned your cameras on yet, nonetheless. Uh, so I can use that, okay? Cold reception when you have not been received very well, so you have been invited to a party, Aap jate, but there's no one to talk to you. There's no one to say, oh, thank, thank you for coming or khana ka ke jana or uh, it was so nice ki aap time nikal ke aaye. So cold reception. Matab, aap aaye ya na aaye, kisi ko koi farak hi hai. That is a cold reception. Cleared everybody? Unwelcomed or indifferent attitude towards uh, your presence. Okay. Next, we have a uh, lion's share. Lion is the king of the jungle, right? So lion's share, matlab, share, S-H-A-R-E. What is the lion's share? Get this. <clears throat> Majority, very good. Others, significant share, very good. So is it major share or minor share? Major, correct. So lion's share, matlab, wo, uh, you know, the eldest son will get the lion's share of the property. Okay. Can you see that? that does that make sense now? Major portion, jo hai, wo use milega. okay. Majority, signif significant or, uh, you know, uh, major portion of it. Okay, it can be just about food meal also, property. That is just an example, okay? So that is a lion's share. Next, other fish to fry. Think. Non-vegetarian idiom. Other fish to fry. Other fish to fry. <clears throat> just guess. See, I really don't want you to go back to Google, your Chrome search, and then come back here. Uh, we are going to do it together here. But think, guess, karo. others belonging, other work to do. Very good, Anmol. Correct. Okay. I have other fishes to fry also, but the medical or be other dusre kaam hai besides just doing this particular thing. So, uh, if I give you example right now, ki, uh, teaching you is not the only job that I have. I have other fish to fry as well. So, hurry up, learn quickly, and then I'll go. Okay. So, other fish to fry, other work to do as well. Okay. Okay. And the last one for the day, all and sundry. All and sundry. S-U-N-D-R-Y. Sundry, sundry. As you believe, sundry. Okay. Just to make the word clear. What does that mean? Everyone, good. All major and minor, very good. Basically, one and for all. 
मैं एक ही पार्टी देने वाला हूँ एवरीबडी शुड जस्ट कम टू दैट पर्टिकुलर पार्टी बी देर एंड दैट्स ऑल ठीक है वन एंड फॉर ऑल एवरी वन मेजर माइनर ऑल इंक्लूसिव वैसे ओके क्लियर So these are ten idioms that I have done with you today. So, so uh, beside the ten vocabulary words that we did, we have ten idioms covered, and I want you to remember them. Uh, when I upload the PDF, it has the idiom, it has the meaning, it has the sentence. Okay, again for your practicing sake, our meaning will learn. करेंगे ही, but I want you to make a sentence also. Okay, so uh, if you just follow what I am saying, maybe it will just help you out. Um, you know, I can simply, I can only say, मैं आपके घर आके आपका हाथ करके आपको लिखवा नहीं सकती हूँ या I cannot help. Uh, you know, sit with you to memorize and ask you to memorize, but you'll have to do some part of the work yourself. Okay? So these are things which you can do at home. Next, we are going to pick up uh, another category, which is phrasal verbs. Okay? Or okay, let's do phrasal verbs. We did a few in the first part itself. Okay? What do you mean to change color? What do you mean to change color? उसके रंग बदल गए तो टू चेंज कलर उसके रंग बदल गए मींस डबल फेस्ड ओके नॉट रियली दट्स मोर लाइक अ थाली का बैगन वाला थिंग डबल फेस्ड यहां कुछ और वहां कुछ और चेंज इन एटीट्यूड ओके ओके व्हाट एल्स Uh, if you think you are going correct, can you make a sentence with it? Try to change color. Usually, our color comes when we are caught guilty or caught red-handed. You 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 are caught guilty or caught red-handed. तो सपोजेडली मैं चोरी कर रही हूँ ठीक है मैं आ, मैं आशी के घर पे चोरी कर रही हूँ या उसके रूम से उसका सब, सबसे फेवरेट चॉपिस चुरा रही हूँ सो शी आई थॉट शी वॉज इन द वॉशरूम एंड शीज कमिंग बैक इन द नेक्स्ट टू मिनट्स बट शी सडनली कम्स इन आई लाइक सॉरी आई डोंट नो वट हैपन आई जस्ट की बैक एंड आई रन अवे लाइक दैट सो आई टर्न पेल बिकॉज आई वॉज नॉट रियली एक्सपेक्टिंग ठीक है दैट इज टू टर्न पेल दिस है Uh, will not really turn pale when they are caught because uh, that's their passion. They do it and they're caught. They go to jail and they come back. So hope is a fine idea, sir. Right? Understanding, understanding the meaning to turn pale. Rang ur jana. Chaire ki to uske rangi ur gaye mere ko dekhe. Ah, you know you were um, so you were cheating in the examinations and the teacher comes from behind and says, "Ho gaya cheating. Your karna hai." So I think I'll take up your paper right now. So you turn pale ki you know next kya hone wala hai like that. Okay. Uh, next word that we can use it. Uh, the phrase is to cut short. Easy. Eh? Tell me to cut short. To cut short. In sab ko phrasal verbs bolte. Okay. This is not one word. There are several words, but it does not really make up an entire sentence or a meaningful sentence. But uh, it does convey a meaning also, partial meaning. Okay. So to cut short, what does that mean? Break off, okay. Let's see other uh, guesses. Okay, we'll do that. I will tell you about it, but that is not really a part of the syllabus. But okay, I will tell you. Phrasal verbs are mainly, literally, who uh, you know there are. Um, For to, it really does not really have a particular meaning. Also, idiom. But then you have a uh, content. So, like uh, if I say uh, black sheep, which we have done. So that is yes. Uh, you may say that two words are phrasal. But is there a verb there? Black and sheep. Is there a verb? There is no verb there. Usually in the idioms, we will not have any verbs, right? But phrasal verb me, you are going to have prepositions. You are going to have verbs. Uh, nouns also. So वो सब जुड़ के बनेंगे टेक ऑफ टर्न ऑफ यूजली देर इज अर्ब प्राइमरली फ्रेजल वर्ब द वर्ब इज डूइंग एक्शन वर्ड विल ऑलवेज बी देर ठीक है मेक सेंस लिटिल बट इडियम इज बेसिकली मुहावरे तो दैट्स अ डिफरेंट थिंग 
ओके सो व्हाट वाज द व्हाट आई जस्ट आस्क यू टू कट शॉर्ट टू कट इट टू कट शॉर्ट मींस यानी जब हम लोग यू नो बहुत वी हम लोग लंबी चौड़ी बातें बहुत डिटेल uh, में बता रहे होते हैं सो बेसिकली देयर इज एन पर्टिकुलर एसेंस टू दैट वर्ड दैट कन्वर्सेशन और इंटरेक्शन सो हम बोलते हैं कि टू कट इट शॉर्ट यानी आखिर में टू सम इट ऑल या टू कंक्लूड या मुद्दे की बात बताना हो तो ये बात है नो यू आर कमिंग एंड टेलिंग योर पेरेंट्स की यू नो सब है ना ट्रिप पे जा रहे हैं ये उन्होंने शॉपिंग भी कर ली ये भी कर लिया टिकट्स भी हो गया सब हो गया बेसिकली आपका मुद्दा क्या है नट शेल यस यू कैन से दैट नट शेल टू सम इट ऑल बेसिकली ठीक है नट शेल में मैं आपसे घूमने जाने की परमिशन मांग रही हूँ ओके तो यू सी लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स एंड देन यू सम इट ऑल इन वन पर्टिकुलर सेंटेंस विच इज योर नट शेल की आपको एग्जैक्टली exactly ये करना था ओके दैट इज टू सम इट ऑल ओके टू कट शॉर्ट और टू सम इट ऑल बोथ कैन बी यूज टू कैदर नाउ टू डू अवे विथ समथिंग अगेन इजी थिंक to do away with something or you can also say someone do away matlab get rid of perfect okay to discard something hata dena theek hai i i you know this uh, particular phone ye band ho gaya ye nahi chal raha hai so just get rid of it do away with it give it to somebody else okay or just throw it in the e waste section okay to get rid of it correct to be all ears all ears matlab before the beginning of a class i would want i request all of you to be all ears to me yes listen very carefully so pura devotion attention uh, dedication ke sath you are only paying attention to yahan ki baat you're not being distracted you're not uh, hearing what your mother is saying behind or cooking your favorite dish ya background music hai kuch bhi ho we are only listening to what is being taught here in the class All ears. So, what do you mean by to be all eyes? Very similar again. To be all eyes. Uh, look thoroughly. Pay attention to one particular thing. So, if I am giving a presentation, I want you to be all eyes. You only see the presentation. Don't see anyone else. Okay. Devotion again. To be all. All ears. All eyes. There are two things. Uh, all ears. All ears. All eyes. There are two things. Uh, all ears. All eyes. There are two things. All ears. All eyes. There are two things. मैं एक लैब में कुछ प्रोसीजर कर रही हूँ सो आई वॉन्ट यू ऑल टू पे माइन्यूटली अटेंशन देखो कि मैं किसके बाद क्या कर रही हूँ ओके टू पे ऑल टू बी ऑल आई टू बी ऑल इयर्स क्लियर ओके टू फाइट टू फाइट टूथ एंड नेल ये भी आपने आई एम श्योर यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ इट समवेयर टू फाइट टूथ एंड नेल to the nail to fight to the nail it's not a sibling fight to fight every bit last bit tak you know jab tak hai jaan you are going to fight you're not going to give up you're going to use all the resources all the things that you have to fight last attempt tak okay to fight tooth and nail so yahan par you are not using teeth or nails also again ye bhi they can be fill in the blanks and you have to use the correct words so therefore it is important theek okay? hai to fight to the nail means um to fight with all your might all your resources uh, till the last bit without giving up dedicated passionate like that okay to fight every bit bit and the last one for today which is fall apart what do you mean by falling apart or fall apart basically just fall apart i hope you haven't slept everybody to fall apart what does that mean it does not mean girna right not a part now okay broken off do you want to say that not a part of so it has broken into several pieces it has fallen apart crushed down yes okay that is the meaning of fall apart the empire fell apart um the building collapsed or you know uh, the jar of chocolates fell apart and you know it is a uh, fell and it does not mean a literal falling and breaking but otherwise also okay and that is all for today's class uh, i would like to wind up the session now bit a due to all of you but uh, i wanted to promise that you come back tomorrow we i think uh, we have a session tomorrow also same time 5:30 to 6:30 tomorrow day after and so on so uh it is not going to be the same pattern that you are going to follow tomorrow uh we can do learning part also we can do some 
um, new information things can also be put in here. I want you to give me topics, OK? If you think, uh, look at the syllabus. If you think you are struggling with any particular portion, or you want more and more classes on a particular topic, then you can mention that also. But we're going to do re regular practice of uh, certain key areas, uh, the topics that we have, and it will be fine. Okay. So uh, I hope you like the session today, and you will be back tomorrow uh, learning everything what has been discussed today. And if you find something difficult you haven't followed, please ask. Okay. If not, uh, thank you for being here this evening. It was lovely teaching you. You have been really responsive and participative. Uh, good job. Keep that up. And that's all. Bye. Take care. Any questions? I'm all yours. No problem. Thank you so much. All right. Pleasure, everyone.